Hello, everybody. I'm excited to be doing this project with you. I love doing this project. It's going to look a little different than what we usually do in the classroom, but I think it'll be fun regardless. So I'm going to ask you to grab a piece of paper. I happen to have a white one with me today. Um, a very light blue piece of paper would be fantastic should you happen to have that with you at home. Like a very light blue, like imagine a light sky, right? Um, if you notice, I'm holding my paper nice and tall in range, okay? Um, we can either hold it this way or this way, but tall is going to be best for what we're about to draw. Um, you guys can use a pencil for this project. I'm going to use a marker so that you can see it just a little bit better. So keep in mind that you should be using a pencil just so we can correct any mistakes that we uh, make and that's why pencil's so handy so we have our eraser. I'm going to use a sharpie so that you can see my lines best but again pencil and paper should get started. If you happen to have light blue paper with you like a piece of construction paper that would be great. So we're going to do a project that I like to call catching snowflakes on our tongue and it's one of my favorite winter projects. So we're going to do a little guided drawing here so that everybody has an idea of what to draw as we are creating our art and um, please follow along so we've done this before you should know the drill by now what I draw on my paper you draw on your paper you're paying attention to where I'm putting it on my paper and paying attention to how big or small it's going to be and that's going to leave room for all the things that we need in our art today okay so we're going to start here with um, a shape pretty much in the center of my paper. I do want to leave some room up top and I do want to leave some room in the bottom so I'm going to start in the middle. The shape is going to be circular, okay? So I want you to practice, I like to think about my hand, practicing the circle before I actually start. So I kind of warm it up, put that motion. Notice I'm not leaving a mark on my paper. I'm just practicing my circle. Once I feel like I've got it down and I'm in a good space, I'm going to start at the top. Remember, leaving room. And I'm going to draw a medium sized circle. And at the top, this little gap, I'm going to make a bump up and meet the other side. Okay? So I have a little bump at the top, but everything else is going to just be as much of a circle as you can create. All right. <clears throat> so the next thing I'm going to draw is probably one of the most important parts of the artwork. So the art that I like to title it with is drawing snowflakes on my tongue. So you can imagine tilting your head back, being outside in the snow and trying to catch those little beautiful snowflakes as they're falling close to your face. So what I'd like you to do is think about a big open mouth right in the middle of the face. Okay, so your head is tilted back. That's We're not actually going to see the eyes. This is the nose peeking up and we're going to draw a mouth. So you can draw one of two ways you can draw this mouth. You can draw this mouth with a big open circle just like that. It's exaggerated, it's fun, it's meant to be a really fun work of art. You can also I'll show you a second way. Here's my face. Boop really wanted to you could add little nostrils I wouldn't make them big oh sorry it's unfocused you could also make a bit of what I like to call like a watermelon mouth where it's a little more square straight up top and then that rounded bottom so there's two ways to do it I'll let you choose which one you like a little better okay as artists we should have choices and that's what I like to show you so pick what kind of mouth you want Okay, so we got to draw a tongue, right? So we can draw a tongue like this. It kind of just wiggles in there. Silly little shape. It's 
Okay, that's the way I like to do it here. So my tongue is sticking out. Oh. And now I want you to think about teeth. I like to think about having some teeth in my mouth. I want you to think about maybe you're missing some teeth or if you're personalizing this and this is a portrait of you, maybe you've lost a tooth. Okay, so let's go ahead and add a couple teeth. If you're missing one, you could just take a skip. And it's okay if it feels a little funny, feels a little goofy. I like that actually. That's the fun of this project. A nice big row of teeth. You can just draw a couple lines like this. And that's a fun way to add that detail. Okay, let's keep going. So let's move to the bottom below the shirt. So let's think about winter outfit, right? We're outside, we're catching snowflakes, it's cold, it's snowing. We're not gonna have a summer outfit on, we're not gonna have a bathing suit on, we're gonna bundle up nice and cold, right? So let's draw ourselves in a scarf. So I like to do a little wavy thing here, and I like to do a little detail there, like it's wrapped around. Okay, and you can make that part of the scarf actually fall right down to the bottom of the page. Sometimes there's that little detail on the end you can add if you have room. There's another way to do it. We can try a different way. Same idea, same scarf, kind of wrapping around. And the scarf could be blowing away in the wind like this. if you prefer it to look like that. You can try either way, again, choices, okay? You might wanna think about adding a decoration to your scarf. So thinking about maybe your scarf is decorated with polka dots, maybe it has stripes, maybe it's plain. I happen to be wearing a scarf right now that's maroon and that's would be a perfect choice if you want it to just be plain and you can color it in later that would be fine okay let's leave that one plain just for example sake okay we're obviously not going to just be in a scarf so we need to draw ourselves wearing some clothing so we want to add some shoulders so the shoulders are going to come out and down we might see some arms so out and down pretty much all the way to the bottom of the paper, right? Okay, so let's do the same thing over here, out and down. This one is not covered as much, so I would see my arm out and down, and arm. Maybe I would see a little of my arm here too. The scarf is covering pretty much exactly where the arm would be, so I don't have to add anything there. All right, now I want you to think about what you're wearing. Are you wearing a fluffy coat? Are you wearing a winter sweater? Um, something warm again. So there's a couple things you can think about. Your coat might have a zipper. Maybe you wanna add a detail like a zipper. Maybe you're wearing a nice winter sweater and it's got lots of cool details on it. A warm wool sweater. Maybe there's hearts and snowflakes on your actual sweater. Maybe there's buttons on your sweater or your coat. So it can be something that you actually have at home or you can make it up from your imagination. Either way would be fine, but add some detail to your outfit, whether it's a nice winter sweater or some kind of warm winter coat. Give you a couple minutes to do that.
Okay, the final detail that we're going to add is hair, right? Not everyone is bald out there. So this is a really fun way to personalize this art. Remember, this is supposed to be you. It's a portrait of you. So this can change from picture to picture. I want you to imagine your hair is kind of blown in the wind. It's a way to make these really fun and really silly. So if you have really long hair, your hair would come up and maybe wiggle all the way off the page towards the top. Okay, wavy, wavy. The crazier it looks, the more fun it is. Let that get crazy. If you are a guy and you have short hair, I would say you just need to kind of do a little bit of this in the background, right? That's it, that's all we would see. So you can make braids coming up if you want to. Uh, you can have short hair like this guy, smooth it over. So imagine your hair, what would it look like if it was just a little bit crazy in the wind and a little bit fun. Have fun with it, okay? Don't get too serious with it. So let's review. We have the mouth with the tongue sticking out. We've added some teeth, maybe some are missing. We have our nose turned up because we're trying to catch our snowflakes. We have crazy, fun, wild winter hair. We have a nice warm scarf on. And then we're wearing something warm as well, like a winter coat or a winter sweater. So that is it for our drawing portion, okay? We're gonna leave that alone for now. If you have anything you need to add, like detail here, now is the perfect time to do so. Okay, with that, I'm going to stop the video and let you work on any of those details that need working on. Okay, thanks for uh, drawing along with me. I hope you had fun. Can't wait to see what these look like. Remember, catching snowflakes on our tongue. <laughs>